Say happy 4th of July. Close enough. Ollie, say happy 4th of July. Mom, say happy 4th of July. 4th of July. Rock and roll, like a rock and roll star. Did you hear that? All right, guys, so we're getting some family time in first. But tonight's going to be a fun mission. We're going to head out to a local airport. And I found out that some people that I know are going to a concert. And the concert is outside and um, within range of this airport. So, simple mission. Fly to the concert, fly over, see if they see me, all that stuff. Get, get out of there. And, uh, yeah, it should be fun. Yeah, and rock and roll like a rock and roll star. Yeah, let me film this for one second, okay? Go over there for a second. And if you guys saw my unboxing video, the guys at Fly PPG sent me a couple of props. They sent me this two-blade 140. That's what I've been flying on. Um, but they also are nice enough to send me uh, uh, that, which is a three-blade. And it's a three-blade for the 287 <laughs> reduction. So Viterazzi has not come out with a prop for the factory R yet, three blade version. So they told me that this might work, the 287, so we're gonna give it a shot, see how it feels. Um, it's gonna look cool, but I don't know how it's gonna fly, so we'll give it a shot tonight. Peace. I dropped that right on the propeller. All right, fellas, and fel fellas? Fellas sounds like, should be fellows and fellas. All right, everyone, simple plan today. Actually, I look really forward to these kind of flights. Nights when I have like a mission for myself, oh, and that's what today is, so. Um, there's an outdoor concert going on for the 4th of July, about 10 miles from here. And it is beautiful out, and I'm kind of in a cross country mood where I just want to sit back, relax, and listen to music. And so that's what we're gonna do. And while we're in the air, I switched over to a 287 reduction three blade E-prop. Um, so as I mentioned in the intro, I got two props from the guys at Fly PBG, the three blade 287 I just mentioned, and then a, a 140 two blade. The 140 is amazing, awesome, may even go back to it, but three blades are cool too, so we're trying it out. The guys at Viterazzi have not developed a three blade for this factory R yet though. So this is not the like ideal prop, I'll say, but I was told it should work just fine. And I just ran it up and I felt thrust, so it will work. I'll just monitor my RPM and temperature and everything when I get up there. I'll also be trying out my new speed bar, so Oldham was getting worn out. Alright, the wind is all over the place tonight. My feet are freshly covered in fire ant bites, or stings. And um, I can tell you right away, my speed bar is too loose. Look at this. Short guys, you know, if it's that loose right now, I'm not going to be able to eat that up. Oh, and it's wrapped around my freaking. That's okay, I can always undo it. Anyway, I don't think I'm going to get much engagement if I were to use it, but we'll try it anyway. Um, the three blade. So this is the second time I've had a three blade on a, on a Pluma frame. I had one on my old original, with the Pluma 1.0 with the Moster. And... Uh, I'm getting the same thing. I, it's way smoother, right? The the vibration frequency is higher, but I get this like harmon. I get this like, and I throttle up like, you know that like. So you hear that, which you don't hear with the two blade. It's super smooth. It's definitely nice, and 
Uh, something else I noticed with the three blade versus the two, especially this 140, the low end feels, not, it just feels like you don't get near as much power in the low end with the three blade as the two. Even the, the regular two blade, not the 140, the 135, I feel way more thrust right off the bat uh, than I do with the three blade. You gotta get the three blade moving um, to get that thrust. I'd be curious to see if I'm right about that, see if someone's ever mapped it out. But uh, that's what I feel anyways. Um, the top end is is great, but again, this prop's not made for this motor, but let's see what it, let's see what it, the RPM maxes out at. So let's go to full throttle, oh, wait a minute. My RPM gauge going. Cool. Okay, so yeah, we'll do level flight. That's about level flight. Uh, about 52 to 53. 5,300 RPM, maintain level flight, neutral trims on a 15 meter free ride. That's the wing I'm on. So we will go full throttle. Oh! <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's got, at the top end, man, it, it cooks. It doesn't have more than the 140 still. That 140's got a little more, but that three blade just sounds nasty. It sounds so loud. Uh, and the RPM got up to exactly 8,500. That's where it, it topped out at. And I don't know what the acceptable range is, and I haven't measured the other props yet, but there you have it. Three blade, E-prop, 287 reduction on a, a factory R, 8,500 RPM. And uh, plenty of thrust. Definitely not worried about running out of it. All right, guys, so I've got a hell of a flight ahead of me. Hell of a flight. Eight miles. <laughs> All right, quick update. I texted the dude that was going to the concert, and uh, I go, are you there? He's like, no, we skipped it. So, pointless to fly all the way out there, which is not a cool flight anyway. It's just over trees to a, a, a concert going on. Maybe I still will go, I don't know, but that's not what this video is gonna be about anymore. It's gonna be about ripping down low in these construction sites, which is, I don't know, probably one of the coolest parts about where I live is, um, all these houses you see down here that are like this neighborhood's being built over here, um, even this one, I have flown all of these sites before there were houses there. They do this right ahead of me. They chop down all the trees and then it's months and months before they start putting houses up. So they just keep that cutting down these cool little places to fly around um, before they put up houses. And I mean, they do this, look at this one, I'm right over one. There's like three over there. Uh, one back there, another one on the other side of that. And this is just like one area. I can see I can see so many in the distance. This just this area is ex exploding. I don't know who the hell can afford lumber right now, but someone can. Um, and yeah, so that's what this video is gonna be. I'm gonna tear it up down there in a little while. Yeah, come with me, stay tuned. Who knows what could happen. <laughs> Drag. Whoa. Oh man. I toe dragged it and it's my croc is full of dirt. What an idiot move. There's literally holes built into the front of these shoes. Crossing the old bridge. I have to drive back here when they're done with it. I'm gonna make this turn. Almost. <laughs> you gotta rip it. Dude, how cool is this? I'm gonna make this turn. Got 
got that one. Man, it would suck to go down in here. I see people out on their back porch. They're waving. Are they waving? I'll go give them a little buzz and then I'll get the hell out of here. Happy Fourth of July! <laughs> That was cool. Huge family outside enjoying the nice weather. <laughs> Ripped over them. That was awesome. They loved it too. That's awesome. I love that. That's my favorite. Man. <laughs> the guy was telling me to land. Dude, if there was enough room, I would do it, but I don't know what way the wind's blowing down there. Everyone's in a good mood today. Fourth of July weekend. Man, what a great night. Nights like this, man, I land and I am in a fantastic mood. All right, let's get out of here. So my GoPro battery died and uh, I just did a successful battery swap in the air, which is hard to do. But uh, man, this is an awesome night. I don't think it makes all that great of content, but I'm gonna post it anyway because I'll probably watch it back uh, <laughs> and enjoy it. Say hi to these people on the boats. Risky move, no flotation. We're gonna do it. That they loved it, man. <laughs> yes. And I'm not for sure, but if I would have went in the water, I bet they would have helped me. Man, it is a gorgeous night. I'll tell you what, man, I cannot wait for my new wing to get here. I got another 15 meter free ride. Same exact wing as I'm flying now, but uh, just new. Honestly, this wing is still great. I just don't know how much longer it has, right? It's like, it still flies fine. I can't tell any difference, but I don't know. Just unloaded about two pounds of sand out of it. <laughs> I got the leaky buttholes open. I don't know if you can see them on the camera, but. They're doing their magic. But if you guys saw my fly fishing video, this is where I flew to to fly fish. Um, and it was awesome. I landed out on that little open spot over there. It's like the most, this is like PPG heaven. Did you have a fly in out here? You could launch all these little areas on the side. There's a bunch of open area, like big fields out that way. And then rip around the lake, man. Dave Wolf would love it back here, man. All this water, you can go in wherever he wants, over here, going over there. 
so many choices. That battery hot swap that I just did, I just looked down, the battery's just sitting on top of my leg. Somehow did not fall off. That's uh, pretty much on par with, uh, I don't know, me. <laughs> Pretty sure something just went through my fucking prop. Alright, so I don't know what that was, but I still have throttle. And I'm gonna follow these fields all the way back. What was that, dude? Oh, I know what it was! Oh no, my ear cuff came off, dude! Son of a bitch! Oh no! Oh no! Well... Okay, so here's what just happened. I unhooked my ear cup, like popped my ear cup off my ear so I could push my headphones back into my ear. I have these in-ear headphones. And uh, evidently my gel ear cup came off and went through my prop right now. So I don't... I don't... I don't think it did any damage to my prop, actually, because I don't feel any any vibration. Yeah, I don't feel any vibration, and it's a gel ear cup, so I can't imagine it would damage the prop. <laughs> oh, God, I'm trying to get my helmet back on. I never thought about that happening. Sunshine. On a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, Tom's got the month of May. Distance traveled 40 miles, hour and a half. All right, so I burned a ton of fuel, man. I, I mean, I was just about full, and I have three liters left, uh, and I flew for 90 minutes. I get, But you know what? I was ripping it, but still, oh, man. Also, look at this exhaust. It looks so good. Oh, oh I forgot to check the prop. Okay, this is hilarious. I could feel it hit. <laughs> oh, you can see exactly where the gel ear cup hit. This entire prop is covered in gel. <laughs> oh my god. It is literally covered in gel. So yeah, the ear cup come off my ear, hit right here, exploded all over this blade, did zero damage. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, totally random adventure, but these are the nights that I love in paramotoring. Um, these nights when you're alone, turn on some tunes and just fly around and explore. Um, and the mission changes halfway, and you don't really care because you're flying. It doesn't matter. Um, but don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all that jazz. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.